Hi everyone, it's Carolyn from True Crime Chat with Mommy Ramblings and I'm here with an update in the Suzanne Morphew case. Her sister spoke to a radio station in the Rockies, part of the Rockies, and she said a few things that are quite interesting about the state of mind Suzanne had right before she disappeared. So we're going to take a look at that. If you're brand new, I urge you to Click on the subscribe button in the lower corner of the video and become part of the best community on YouTube. Now let's look into what's going on here. Okay, so Melinda Mormon spoke to a radio station. It was Heart of the Rockies. I listened to the interview and here's what um, is, is important about it. She did say that it was a relief when Barry was arrested and that the first step to justice is very primary in this situation. She said the evidence is very circumstantial and law enforcement's keeping things tight to the vest, and they understand that. They just want justice for their beautiful sister. And she has nothing but the highest praise for the sheriff of Chaffee County, John Speezy. She said she can't say enough about him. There's been a lot of things that have been said um, negatively, and she just wants to say absolutely she has nothing but the highest regard for him. Now, she made, um, she said that Suzanne had made some implications that there were concerns about her safety in the relationship with Barry and that the condition of that relationship had deteriorated over the years. She said that Suzanne and herself had a very close relationship. They had many things that were unspoken. They shared many things maritally that they had in common and Suzanne relied on her sister for counsel. She said there was also a very telling text that was revealed on the Friday before she disappeared, saying it was very profound, very transparent, and it showed the state of her state of mind. So, or the state of her mind is exactly according to what she said. So that was um, very interesting to hear that that was what was going on that Friday before she disappeared on that Mother's Day. Now, regarding the charges that he voted fraudulently in Suzanne's name is unfathomable to her, but she is so deeply grateful to everyone that came together to search for her sister and said, you know, it's just devastating to live without having the remains of her sister, and they pray that they are found so they can give her a proper burial and love her the way that she deserves to be loved. She wants the people of Chaffee County and Salida to know that her sister loved the area. She loved the community. She loved the people. And she did not regret moving there. And she embraced it and loved it very much. And they're not finding any delight, you know, in Barry's arrest because their lives are never going to be the same again. And she says she's going to tell the people to tell the people you love how you feel because you never know when it will be too late. And that's basically what the interview consisted of. So I just wanted to bring that to you that, yes, there was a revealing text sent to her that Friday. She was not going to give the exact wording of what was in it. Obviously, um, we don't want to compromise any investigation. She doesn't want to. But that's what I have for you on the update on a Morphew case here. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.